Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a Citrix workspace app error. This is self-service exception. A breakpoint has been reached. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd recommend doing would be to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in control panel, go ahead and select the best match, which should say control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Select the view by up in the top right and select the large icons. And then you want to select programs and features. Go ahead and locate Citrix from this list here and you want to go ahead and uninstall it if you do have one installed to so go ahead and actually remove it from here. And it would more than likely say the Citrix Workspace app. It would, that, that's the name of it. And once you remove it, you'd close out of here. You would want to restart your computer. And then you'd want to go on the internet. And I will have a link to Citrix's website here that you can just download the Workspace app client. So I will have that in the description of the video here. It's directly from Citrix. You can see it's directly from them. Verify web page here too. You can Google it as well. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and just download this Workspace app. It's about 142 megabytes, so it might take a minute or so to download. So just be patient. And once it's done downloading, just go ahead and open it up. If you receive a security notice, go ahead and select to run. It should have verified publisher of Citrix Systems Incorporated. Go ahead and select yes. Gonna say welcome to Citrix Workspace. The app installs software that allows access to virtual applications that your organization provides, including software that allows access to the application that uses your browser. Go ahead and select start here. You want to agree to the license agreement, select next. And then obviously these choices are up to you if you want to enable app protection or not. Then you're gonna go ahead and just select install. And it should say installation successful. And then at this point you'd add an account or just select finish. And then that's pretty much it guys. And you just would set it up from there. So like I said, pretty straightforward process guys. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.